Radiant Team Ben. Right. Where is Belial? Oh, Ross is drafting. Let's activate the image. Oh, yes, you've got yes, to. Yes, there it is. Oh, I'll move it down a bit so it doesn't hide the captain's mode. There we go. Perfect. It's even Ross is drafting the team. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. That is hilarious. <laughs> Such what a good a picture. What a pick, right. Where Perfect. Is... Ten seconds remaining. God, Belial. Okay, Belial's about to ping you. He's here. Five seconds remaining. Are you getting some last minute insight? Hello? Hello? Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Blau, for that. <laughs> Plus or minus some dogs. I don't know how we're feeling. Uh, oh, God, distance. you are Ooh. lagging, dude. Robot. Oh, Jesus. Ten yeah. seconds remaining. Destructoid. Five seconds remaining. Interesting, we started with just core bands again. Oh, and that target can go. Oh, never mind, there's the Chen. Switch the biters. Bad man. you are so hard oh, to understand. Oh god, you are so destructive. <laughs> 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 it's unbelievable. <laughs> Looks like Discord and Dota is not going to happen. Ten seconds remaining. You are actually On pure robot. And maybe Five some dogs. <laughs> What a stream name. Radiant we'll have to see if we're blessed with their presence. Yeah. I think he said he's switching devices, so he'll probably join on okay. okay, not surprised. Cosmic Chopsticks Bane, I guess, and Brex Abaddon. It's been a while since we've seen the pause through Abaddon, but it makes sense Who? when Bane is picked. It's such a counter to Bane. Aphotic Shield removes the Nightmare, it removes Athene's Grip. It was also, it was like an immediate pick as well, as soon as the Bane was picked. I wonder if they they knew they were going to pick Bane on the Dire, or they just wanted Abaddon anyway. Yeah. But I think it's a really clever pick, because Abaddon is so good against Bane. You can't Fiend script Abaddon, because he can just ult it off anyway. Very little you can do about it. True. Alright, I've switched devices. Should oh, now? Yeah, that you are so much better. Audible. Radiant team pick. Okay. Yeah, also makes sense. Not very good against Abaddon because he can dispel the Shadow Strike. But I guess Quark may go mid lane. Oh, Miles is drafting. Oh, that's okay. interesting. I don't okay. think we've ever seen him draft Ten before. No. I wonder if this is. Is that an Five early Quark mid remaining. pick or is it like off lanes at the other support? Probably just a flex pick. A flex. It could easily yeah. go in the off lane because Abaddon's likely to be in the other off lane. So as long as Quop can avoid Abaddon, she's going to do well, I think. At least she's a hero, I guess, that could be put in a different lane. So even so, yeah. as the whole draft progresses... She's so versatile at the moment. Playable in every position, I think. Yeah, pretty much. I mean... Pos 5 would be sketchy, but it's possible. Pos 1, probably not, but everything in between. 4, four 3, and 2. Cop's pretty good. Yep. I guess even 5 uh, at push. Possible. Her ult is very strong. Loads of damage. It knocks back. Easy to use. Two counter picks for chopsticks. Ten would you consider remaining. Rubik a counter to Bane? I would. Uh, apparently, Five there's a super remaining. big brain play that you can do against the Bane as Rubik, but... So what you do is, you steal Nightmare first, right? Yes. And then you steal again, then you Nightmare yourself and dodge the steal, so that way you get the uh, grip. What? <laughs> Which mean you dodge the what? What? <laughs> you Nightmare yourself yeah, it's, it's, while you're... Do you need you're... to have Ags for this? Um, you don't necessarily need Ags. You can have Nightmare stolen from like two minutes ago or something. So but... you, night you steal and then you Nightmare yourself straight away. Yeah, and that remaining. dodges the the steel. Do it dodges the steel and gives Five you the remaining. second last ability that you used, which can be grip. Um, what? Has uh, anyone ever this pulled this off, or is this a big brain Belial? Uh, no, no, no. This was something I was taught by someone. Okay. Right. It's like 
10 minutes ago, but apparently that's a thing. This is uh, I think, is that, next that's level too, for me. We'll have to yeah, see. Yeah, that's too high yeah. IQ for BBGS. I can never do that shit because uh, I'm on like super high ping. Apparently you need like 20 ping at least. Radiant team ban. 20 ping, <laughs> is that your excuse? Yeah. <laughs> Someone liked my tweet and I don't know who it is. Was it me? Monkers? No. I'm so used to the only Fuck. likes being on the in-house pings being Karen, but there's someone else. Ten seconds remaining. Me, Momu. <laughs> Who is this? <laughs> Five seconds remaining. But, Twitch emotes and badge man. artist. Cool. I'll, thank From you. Italy. Momu, isn't that the same person who sent you emails the other day? I can't remember who that was. It was something like Momu or something. Maybe. Nice. Oh well, I'll take it. Not that Ten I really used Twitter, but. Can I have three emotes for 25 euros? Five seconds remaining. Oh, I feel like Boo is a bad ban. That's not a bad price, actually. Radiant team ban. Brewmaster oh. is for Miles, potentially. That's maybe a targeted ban as well. Bloodseeker, he's. Um... I think Bloodseeker actually could have worked on the on the Radiant team. Fair enough. He's done well in these in houses. Ricky, because veterans in the game, and we don't like Ricky. Void, again, veterans in the game, <laughs> we don't Radiant. like Void. Radiant I think it's almost pick. all target bans this game. Yeah, everything. There's is. almost no meta bans in this entire, like, apart from Ursa. Every ban is a target ban, except for Ursa. Alright, let's see their third pick. I'm expecting some. Epic Ten seconds stuff. remaining. I'm trying to think about our in house meta and predict the pick. Team pick. Okay. Save support means that Abaddon's definitely going to be in pause three. Yep. Getting the Vlads and, and stuff. Jakiro is alive, boys. Jakiro's a good hero. Got lots of Jakiro fans in BVGS. Ten seconds remaining. Hello, Charlie. Hey, Charlie. Five seconds remaining. Pinged you like ten minutes ago. That has good dispel. I think Oracle on the die, talking about Dispel. Nah, I think Oracle as a plus 4 is too bad. It doesn't really have reliable stun. Just as a play plus mid five. like Ross 2, crapper. No, don't do that. Radiant team. <laughs> oh, Nature's Prophet. Oh, now, Nature's Prophet is a very meta hero, but we don't see him in the in-house very often. Yeah, I, but who... Well, is I, that... Oli and Veteran are the two people I know who play Prophet, and <laughs> neither of them. Maybe, are the maybe dire. it's a Roids. Maybe it's a Roids. How about, how about or Miles? Even or Miles, it Miles yeah, it could be Miles, yeah. Miles or yeah. or potentially um, Roids. I don't think I've seen Roids play much Prophet. Could be a Miles hero. It's just definitely a very strong hero. It's probably the most meta hero at the moment, apart from Ursa. And he's definitely yeah. getting nerfed yeah, in the I... next patch. There's no way he avoids the nerf. <gasps> I would love to see a Miles Prophet, honestly. Just bully the safe lane. Yeah. Like, you just win the game. True. Um, he's got a lot of base damage, a lot of armor. He has insane stat scaling. I mean, 3.6 agility a level on a hero. It's just unreal. He's going to get nerfed some way or another. But, you know, make the most of him while yeah, he's there. Definitely. He's not seen in our in houses, so it could be interesting. I'm assuming that's pos 3. Well, probably with a co-op. Yeah, Can you imagine playing against Nature's Prophet co-op? Ugh. You wouldn't even be able to walk into the lane. Yep. Nine Tango Gaming. Like, that's not even going to be enough, I think. You'd just be bullied out. <laughs> so much damage. The Tango regen won't keep up with the Shadow Strike and Nature's. With the, um, what's it called? Blightstone. That item is very strong. I know Bilal loves the item too. Yep. Blightstone is a great item. Building on everyone, even Witch Doctor. Yeah, because he hits for like 70 damage. Did you build it on Shadow Shaman? <laughs> uh, I probably would, yeah. I mean, you, your mana pool is kind of low, right, for your spells? So, just build Blight Just click. <laughs> yeah. Puck? Okay, yeah, we've seen quite a few Pucks in our own houses. Definitely going to be an Ollie Puck. <laughs> Why is that a resident right. sleeper? So far, this game is Five looking like... Remaining. Ollie split pushing and Dyer just running at people. Well, maybe they're trying to have like catch up with the prophet as well if he 
does all of his like ratting shenanigans. I guess someone's got to catch up with him. That's a good question. Yeah, if suppose. if you've put Dream Coil on Profit, can he still teleport? Or is that disabled for the entire time? I think it's disabled. It's but I'm disabled. Not sure. I'm pretty sure it's disabled. He can't just teleport all out of All mobility route. spells. Yeah, all mobi uh, mobility spells are disabled, I think. Okay. Well, some are. Like, I think you can... Oh, no, you can't even pounce in it. And maybe it really is a No, you cannot spell. pounce, cannot blink. You can surge, I think. Like yeah, but that's not really. Uh, it's still a mobility spell. Okay, fine, fine. You got me. You can't clockwork out, can you? Because that's mobility. Or does that not count? Because it's like a damage spell. Uh, that does count, I think. Uh, okay. That you can. Alchemist. There's no, no Ross in the game or Ross too. I'm pretty sure that that might be right. Also, taken on sure the mantle. Yeah, the other more. Of his brother. And just, oh, nature's prophet and alchemist. That's a lot of gold that can be generated if they're allowed to farm. Yeah. Radiant's team maybe is a little bit too passive. I mean, Puck's pretty strong. but doesn't have huge Radiant damage. Abaddon doesn't have big damage. They're going to need some sort of quite high impact, high damage dealing hero to finish off their draft. What are we predicting? See if we can guess it. It's going to be a pause one. Uh, they need a really, really big pause one. Like, really their graph right now is kind of bad. I don't like it. You think Terrorblade? Thinking Five Phantom Lancer. Really. Nah, Terrorblade is, Terrorblade is too slow. PL could work. Because he can get pretty strong. Uh, Juggernaut, I'm not, not a fan yeah, of Juggernaut man. this game. Honestly, I would like to see an anti-mage, but you would have to be pretty good at using your counter spell ability. Yeah, uh, picking it into Bane is always a risk, but it can work. Yeah. They need something that doesn't get ruined by Bane in the lane. Well We've be? also got to think about because because looking at Radiant, it'll probably be veteran. That's the plus one, right? Remaining. Yes. So I'm just trying to think of like the heroes that he plays. That's he's true. That's true. I don't think I've seen so him he, on much he likes. Blade. No, exactly. Radiant. So he, he's played PL before. He's played like Legion. Um, Bloody hell, who else has he played? Life, has he played Life Seed? He does, yes, yeah. he has played Life I don't think Life Seed would play. Juggernaut, work. he plays. I think uh, they may go Juggernaut. It is his. Yeah, I era. think uh, Juggernaut Ten is seconds good. Remaining. I like Phantom Lance the most. You can dispel the Queen of Pain dagger, cause, and you're going to be laning Five against her. So 50, 50 mana, Doppelgang. Think. You don't even need to duke it because it just dispels you when you use Doppelgang. Um, pretty good core. Very hard for Bane to deal with when you've got tons of illusions hitting you. It's good against you know pretty much everyone on their team. I'd say an alchemist can't really out carry a PL if PLs manage to farm a bit. So I would like to see Phantom Lancer. Ten seconds. But we'll see. Right, let's see uh, They've still got let's another see what pick. They pick against the Abaddon. Five seconds. Is this what are they missing? A support? So or is yeah, it Bane was, and Quop say... support? And actually, they're missing a Pos One perhaps. Would be too yeah, greedy. Pos One is what they're missing. Very Corey. They need to pick a Pos One who gets online quite quickly. They could even go like Marana, or something. A Pos One. Uh, maybe Jug even, he can do quite well early game, doesn't need a ton of farm to just kill you with Blade Fury. And before it's some sort of weird alchemist support. Ooh. Rush Ags and everyone. Could be. I don't think a support alchemist is going to be farming Aghanims. Honestly, I think they should pick PA, because PA is going to have a really good time against Rubik. Radiant team. We'll see. Wraith King? Wraith King! Okay. Right. Safe pick. Yeah, oh, it's, it's very Cory, so Cory. Corey in the house. Very greedy. Nature's Prophet, Alchemist, and Wraith King. And yeah. you've got Queen of Pain as well, your support. Well, you know, Prophet. Very pushy as well, because Prophet trees and Wraith King skeletons. Five. Yeah, true. Greedy, but um, I think they needed one more, like, super active pause one, because then four people can be fighting while Alc farms. And he just comes out with Radiant and, you know, wins the game. <laughs> we haven't had a Ross draft for a while, so I hope it does win. Ah, oh, there's the anti mage. Oh, anti -mage. Yay! Okay, um, anti mage is good against Wraith King. I mean, Wraith King has to get to level twenty before he can negate the mana loss. So, yeah, I yeah, can see it in working. In terms of that, he is good. But if you man fight anti mage, you know you're just gonna win. You've got the crit, yeah. But 300%. Yeah. Okay, very so it strong. wasn't Shakiro. Oh, level Javon 1 spell shield to reflect Quap dagger. Yeah, true. It, it deals with Quap as well. 
which is what they needed. That's why I was thinking Phantom Lancer, someone who doesn't just get dominated by Shadow Strike. And Tomage is one of them. Here's a question. Can you blur the Shadow Strike? Like, does it disjoint when you blur? Yeah, it, it does. It does just disjoint. Okay, so that also could be an option. Just any hero who Him doesn't get way. murdered by Queen of Pain. Yeah, he's rough into Bane. Try. Yes, true. True, true, true. Farm top, though. Looks like a dire run to me. Nice, ah! Nice, ah! Let's do a sun strike, I think. Yeah, I think I looked it up at some point. <laughs> I think it was the cataclysm. Not that I know what any of it means. I knew because I was cloned because I recognised the two characters. Which oh, is really? In relation to, I would assume, oh. sun strike. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a look you and see if there's any people pulling a fast one on us. Nope, it's going to be Puck versus Alchemist mid. It is Rana Royds. Well, Royds did beat Ollie in the 1v1 <laughs> tournament. So, maybe a rematch. Oh yeah, true. But this time they're on different heroes, so it doesn't really count. What does that mean? Um, something about hitting. <laughs> Deb. Oh, they're swapping lanes. Hog champ. Are they? Some cheeky lane swap going on here. Oh yeah, the Ross image. <laughs> oh, it's still there, yeah. <laughs> I like it. Oh, Go. shit. Sorry, Ross, shit. you've gone. To, um... hmm. Tom Quap. So Queen of... Yeah, not Queen of Pain. Anti-Mage is going to the off lane. So you're right, they've done a full swap there. Are they? What are they trying to dodge? Are they really trying to dodge... Queen of Pain Prophet, I think it's just going to be too much bullying. Yeah. Even if he manages to dodge the daggers, he's going to get right click down. Alright, looking at Brex. Okay, see, Brex can dispel uh, the oh. Shadow Strike. So maybe that's why they wanted to put Abaddon in the bot lane. They, they definitely want to yeah. lane Abaddon against the Queen of Pain. But I think Anti Mage would have done just as well. He could just take level 1 counter spell, wait till the dagger's been cast, then reflect it. Maybe Top lane is just kind of better. Even though it gets bullied by Bane a bit, it's just better. Well, you've got 600 ra attack range on the Ruby. Oh no, it's not even that far. It's 550, whereas Bane's is only 400. But Bane is so fast, so high armor, high damage. It will be a farm fest, probably. Oh, Beth was taking mana burns, straight away burning Bane's mana. Which is good because Brain Sap does a lot of damage, so if you can remove his mana, it helps a lot. Yeah, suck him, Rich. Suck him. Stop putting it on. Uh... Oh, nice. Out comes the second jewel breath. Putting the pain onto Prophet. Well, the Prophet can always TP back to base and then just teleportation straight back into lane. He's such an irritating hero to deal with if you can't straight up kill him. Yeah. Not a hero that can be harassed out the lane easily. Let's see, we've got. It almost looks like a Brex pos 1 because he's in the safe lane, but it's still the pos 3. Nice going for a ring of protection. Please counteract the Blightstone a bit. Mid lane is going to be fairly boring, and maybe Ollie will eventually get aggressive and try and go for a kill. Puck is a pretty good hero in mid, but I don't know if he can put enough pressure onto an Alchemist. I don't think he has the solo kill potential. When Alchemist is 6, he pops Chemical Rage. There is no way Puck's killing him. Yeah, but before 6, you can kill him, right? Maybe. maybe. I'm not sure, to be honest. We'll see. Rich has a passive W. So like maybe he doesn't use brain sap like often or something? Yeah. He doesn't do it enough. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. He, he should have bought more mangoes. He should have bought more mangoes to spam it. He's in an interesting position. He takes a lot of damage from anti mage. How much is it doing level one? So it's about fourteen bonus damage. Plus 0.5% of his mana, which isn't much, but you don't want to be losing your mana in the early game, and you can't do any brain sap. More mana gone. Yeah, what I like to do against anti mage is spam all my spells till my mana is zero. And, and then just hit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's true. No mana. It's sort, of the, it's sort of the same when you're against a lion. It's like, there's no point in mana draining me if I've got no mana anyway, dude. 
and just smack him. Because yeah, Lion's yeah. not got a lot smack of damage him. and he's quite quite a squishy hero, isn't he? So far, lanes are fairly passive. Tom tried to blink disjoint yeah, the liquid I fire. That. <laughs> <laughs> which I think is maybe a bit overkill, but okay. It was interesting. I mean, I heard it and then I saw it like the like the um the effect and I was thinking, did he actually just try and do that? And then you said that. I was like, right, okay. He yeah, did. he definitely tried, but I'm not sure if it was worth it. <laughs> Interesting seeing Tim on a pause one as well. I don't think we see that that often. Is he going to salve up? He walked very far away, being careful that he doesn't get hit by Drekken. He's looking for a cheeky behind the tower. Interesting he didn't go telekinesis, he just went for arcane supremacy. He thought, yeah, more damage. Not really going to be lifting in the early game anyway. Might as well get some more fade bolt. Very aggressive, I like it. Brings it up to nearly 200 magic damage. He's disgusting. Oh, Rick gets the D ward. <clears throat> oh, what's that D ward? Oh, behind the tower, okay. But I think Ross is. He, oh, Draken, he loves putting wards behind the tower. I think Chopsticks knows that. <laughs> Or maybe he just saw him, but it's, it's definitely just a, a common. Thing. It's a common place to ward now, to be honest. It never used to be, but um, like a few months ago. Yeah, you've got to try and ward in more creative places, to be honest. Fortification. Nice. Please. Look at him disrupting the pull. Oh, he disrupts half the pull, but not the other half. Oh, it's, it's not. Nothing's going to happen there. Antimid just doing okay. You know, he needs a good early game, and he's getting it. So. We'll have to see how early he gets his battle fear. I'm thinking maybe in 16 minutes at this rate. You know, not complete free farm, but pretty close to it. Very passive start. We've got a lot of cores in this game, so no one really wants to fully commit. Ollie just took the stack from Roids. That's big. Nice. Got a lot of gold from Losing that. Runes? Let's see. Let's see how many runes the Alk team gets. One, two. Oh. I think it's going to be two. Okay. I, interesting oh, Tom build. Oh, that's going to be a courier kill. Courier Have you seen Tom's Rex build? He actually went for Scream of Pain. I think he realizes, oh, there's no point maxing out Shadow Strike in this lane. Brex is just going to dispel it every time. So I'm going to start getting some Scream yeah, of Pain. So yeah, like don't max Shadow Strike. Yeah, makes sense. Oil mid lane. Oh, Bane. He's good, though. He's good. He's good. So Oli did get six first, but just don't have the damage to kill an Alchemist. That's the problem with Puck, I think. Like, Puck is great against the other sort of squishier mid-heroes. Alchemist is quite tanky. And as soon as he gets his ult, you've got no chance of killing him. He's already on 1.2k HP. He's got a Bracer. He's got Soul Ring. Also, uh, there's not a lot of heroes on Radiant who benefit from Vessel. So I wonder if someone's going to make that. Yeah, Vessel's pretty good against um, Wraith King as well. He's got a lot of lifesteal. It's good against strength heroes in general. It takes a percentage of health away. I'm wondering who's going to make it though. I think Puck should. Abaddon. Pulse 3. Abaddon could do it if he, as well if he needs to. He's always going to be in the middle of the fight. Yeah, so he doesn't really need any items. There's no absolutely zero core items for Abaddon, right? So he might as well just pick up everything his team needs. I know he likes to go for Vlad's. So we will see. The supports are just having a fight, and the course couldn't kill oh, yeah, us. Again, Tom. Another career kill. Yeah, Tim oh, yeah. just like right click this anti over and over again. Can He's now crit. big crit. Like, look at him. Like, he burned the mana, but what if he burned mana? The Puck's TP mana. top. There's only level four on Tim, so Tim is definitely going to go down. That's going to be first blood. Does Ollie not have? Okay, he really oh. waited with his waning rift for some reason. But there you go. First blood, seven minutes into the game. Ollie comes top attacking. to kill Tim. He's like, I can't, I can't stop Royd's farming. I might as well go kill a core, which is good. But Royd's just like, yeah, it's alright. I don't care if my team die. Too busy farming. Net worth. Net worth. Puck on top. Alchemist close. It, it's pretty, it's pretty even to be honest. It's very close early game. One of the closest games we've seen for a long time, back in the early game. That was one of the latest first bloods we've had as well. It's usually they're around five minutes or so. Or well, randomly, it's quite long anyway. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> yeah, you're right. It's very, very late for a first blood. 
But I guess both teams have quite a lot of cores who just want to farm. Well, Radiant, really, it's, it's all in on the anti-mage. That no one wants to go aggressive, they just all want to pick up farm. But I think Dyer do a lot better with farm than the Radiant. Sure, they have anti-mage, but they're pretty much putting all their eggs in one basket. If anti-mage doesn't have a good right. game, he's going to struggle. Yeah. Whereas the Dyer have the loads. So... He's rushing Orchid. Yeah, that makes sense. He's going to get it way before Anti-Mage gets Manta. Way before. Yeah. Probably like 10 minutes he's before. Gonna like, he's going to destroy this Puck and Anti-Mage solo. Yeah. Yeah. Or any, any one plus one on anyone on this team. It's going to be easy kill. Ollie's blocked the Alk camp. Ollie loves he's blocking camps. of the lost streak. He wants to win. He does. Ollie top on net worth at the moment, or not quite top on net worth because Alchemist, top on Larsets rather. Okay, Dream Call's been used, but Alchemist is in his ult. His ult's run out. Leash is about to end. It's about to end. He's being patient. Tom's pretty low. He's still got blink. Tom's going to get away. Nah, they they're switching targets. Uh, if they all went to Plum, I think it was dead. That rotation though, the two supports. They committed three to mid, but Roy just I mean, ran away. So yeah, constantly. Just, just hit that damage, Tim. Mars oh, yeah. clicked bottom as well by an Nice crit. Oh, that crit. Big crit. Brex is chasing down Mars. Is he going to be able to kill him? He does have his ult. Oh, no, he hasn't actually leveled it yet. Interesting. He's probably going to save it until he really it needs point. it. Yeah. He doesn't want it to auto proc, which I think is clever. So he can control when the first proc the happens. Tower is under attack. Yeah, Tim's got absolutely no mana, but he's level 6. He hasn't leveled his ult either. There's no point because he has no mana, <laughs> so it wouldn't proc anyway. All he's gonna buy Veil, Hog, the good item now. Okay, so he's wants to get that damage in early. You've got Jakira on your team, you've got Rubik, you do have a fair bit of magic damage. Uh, I hear a teleport. Miles, he's found Gabe. Puts him in the trees, Gabe's got no way to break it. And he is most definitely dead. That's gonna be the second kill of the game at 10 minutes in. <laughs> Now he levels his ult, but he's very low, Brex. He's still got a Fartic shield. He's going to use it straight away. He's going to be okay. Oh, there was another kill. Anti-Mage died. I actually didn't see that. How, how did that happen? But just blink away. I didn't see that, so I, I can't comment, but that's that's really big for Tim. Yeah, he probably got a big crit and just one shot. Okay, Ollie's trying to do some damage to Roy's, but Roy's got his ult up. He's getting pretty close to a Sacred Relic. He's going to have Radiance at definitely a good timing. Net worth, already right, 6k. So let's, see, let's see if any of the Radiant are buying Urn. I don't see it on Breck. Not on Rubik. Not on Jakiro. Yeah, mm. no evidence at all of Spirit Vessel. Oh, Ollie. <laughs> Ollie's <laughs> manning up on Roy's. Almost died. Here. He's going to Dream Sorry, Call him onto the tower. Roy. Yeah, there it is. I think Roy's went too far there. Yeah, Roy's. I don't know Why what that was dead. all about. Oh, <laughs> that, was... that would be a tip. That would be a tip. Tip? Yes, yeah, Ollie. He knows. Oh, that's gotta be, it's gotta be. He knows. That was a bit of a pepega because... Like, once Royd realised he wasn't going to get the attack in, I don't know why he followed further and further and further. He should have just turned around. So, head's gone, as you could say. There's some tunnel visioning, you know? Yeah. Lucky. Chasing way too... That, that's Ross. Ross would definitely say lucky. It's probably... It's probably... His, Ross too probably told Royd, be me in this announcement. Yeah, dive to tier Ow. two. It's right, he's back, he's got the Sacred Relic, didn't lose much gold. Back to punching creeps it is. Oh, what a Tim punch. Veteran is really struggling against Tim. Like, Tim just smacks him. He's maxed out his crit already. So it's a 15% chance. Tim should have done that. Oh, bot lane, oh, got something going no. on here. Miles is killed, chop oh. 6 TP's in, it's a bit late. Veteran! Oh, veteran. He he just got chopped up by Roids. He couldn't. He couldn't because he used his blink to blink into this camp here to farm it, not knowing uh, how okay. Yeah, and then he just couldn't get out of it because his blink was still on cooldown. But then hasted alchemist runs him down. Blink's got a 15 second cooldown. You really shouldn't be using it aggressively. You've got to be very, very careful. Oh, I see a TP in. 
Miles is TP'd in. He's doing as much damage as he can to Gabe. Nice damage from Ollie. But Gabe is pretty tanky. Is he going to live? No, he's going down. Top six. He breaks the dream core. But Ollie, yes, nice ult. And Brex, he's already used the Aphotic Shield. We're going to pop the ult for it anyway. Sonic's, uh, Sonic Wave. Brex, his ult's popped. Is he going to TP back to base? No, because he knows that the stun's coming up soon. There's the stun. That's going to be more kills for the Dire. Oh, that was so good. Well, they lost, they lost Miles, but... Um, and they did lose chopsticks as well. That's a long that name. Look at it. <laughs> so long that you can't even see Avadon's name. <laughs> it goes it off the screen. Um, Jesus. Puck for Puck for uh, Nature's Prophet. Though, that's yeah, because Nature's Prophet's technically the pos three, isn't he? Even though his net worth is pretty high. Yeah. They dived a little bit too far, and also Brex used a Photic Shield before the Fiend Script came up, and that then Ollie was dead. And I think what Dave said in oh. chat a while ago is correct. Um, Ollie really should be getting a Yule's because he knows that he should know that there's an Orchid coming up. Well, this might just be a tower dive. Is there going to be another TP in? There is. Tim doesn't have his ult yet. He's level 9 and he still hasn't skilled his ult. Is he ever planning to skill it? Got a wand. He does have a wand. He's got the mana for his ult. He just doesn't have it. Get stunned out by Drekken. Uh, you just, turn, might as well just go in. Well, he's going to just do a right click. There's one. Oh. Drekken, you're going to die too. Go on, use the stun. Oh, he got, he got level 10. He got level 10 on that. He got level 10. Oh, perfect. Oh. Now the ult gets procced. Okay. He's stunned again by Drekken. But here comes his team. What's Ollie going to do? He's going to have to run. There's Radiance up on Royds. He's doing a lot of damage. Royds, he's like, yeah, screw it, guys. I'm going in. I go ham. He's got, he's got his ult, I guess. So he's Ollie, he's, he's being chased, though. Tom was there waiting for the kill. Gets Tom it with the Sonic. God. Scream of pain. Oh, Drekken, you're hiding. Do they know? It's there he is. He's found him. There's the stun. Drekken's going down, too. Uh, loving this aggression from Dyer's team. Yeah, just straight into the trees. Dive in the tower, surrounding them, bringing lots of heroes there. Because of Nature's Prophet, he's a global hero, right? He's a global hero. You've got Quap, very aggressive yeah, support. Has, you brought your, your mid alchemist down to the orchid. fight. There's already an orchid. Yeah. Yeah, on Miles. Very good. Very like good. Tom is going orchid too, which I think he should not do. Yeah, I don't think we need two orchids. Yeah, he, he should be considering. Complete his or like go or something yeah, I agree. We're chasing Roy's bot, but Roy's is pretty strong. He's already level 12. He's got Radiance. He's going for BKB next time. Going straight for the BKB. Uh, That's going to be another kill. Again. Bad, Alchemist already on 10k net worth. Oh, nice. They got oh. the Fiend Script on Ollie. Is there any other TPs in? TPs? It's too Great. late. We've got the armlet on Wraith King. Oh. He's doing a lot of damage. They've just lost their mid. All these bones that are being harvested. It's a shame that it's not going to count, but <laughs> otherwise it would be good. Ah, oh, oh, there are the dogs. <laughs> Welcome nice to the stream, champion. guys. And I don't mean in <laughs> nice of you to turn up. Oh, double damage. What are the Radiant going to do? Um, me, lol. That's the question. Uh, the entire Dire team are together. Minutes. This is five-man Dota at its finest, isn't it? Yeah, they're just gonna control this jungle now, and they're just radiant. Is BKB on Alk already? Anti Mage is pretty close oh. to Battle Fury, so he's going for probably a 17 minute Battle Fury. He only needs one more camp. Once he takes his ancients, he'll have it. But he's gonna, he's really gonna need a lot of farm. Alchemist, like you said, already BKB radiance. His assault curse will be up way before Anti Mage even gets Manta style. I think they've just put too much pressure on too early. Yeah, they have. They've, they've played their draft really well. Yes, I'm a big fan of this draft. Radiant draft is way too safe. And the Dire have been able to go greedy. You know, with the Queen of Pain support as well, the Nature's Prophet plus three. Yeah. Miles drafting God? Yeah, it was a good draft by him. Fair play. Oh, Miles? Trying to kill Anthony? Is he going He's got him? the Orchid. There's the Orchid. He's just clicking him. He's trying to break out with the Quelling Blade, or with the Battle Fury rather. Oh. Okay, he does blink out. Oh, no, Top 6 was close. Oh, he TP's back oh, in. Man. Couldn't find him. Oh. We have Fiend's Grip, not oh. yet. Here comes the Radiant Great team. I think Top 6 is probably dead. Gets veiled. Yeah, he's going to go down. That's exactly what the Radiant need at some point. A kill. 
Um, anti mage, back to farming with his battle fury. Oh, do, do you think you run at five oh, man on Dyer? Yeah, they should do. They should, they should just be going five. With Miles can just TP him whenever they need to. TPing in. There comes the stun. Orchid, he's dead so fast. Poor Gabe. Just got chopped. Antimage, he's just going to TP out. He's like, yeah, there's too much stuff going on here. I'm out. Roy's has decided he's going to pick up Travels first before finishing the Assault Curse, which I think is correct. Tim has got the money for a Blink Dagger. And there it is. He's purchased it. So now you've got that aggression as well. What is going on in the top lane? Some TP from Tim. So they tried to go on Roy's. He's been veiled. Dragon TPing away. <laughs> Just have a look at the hero levels, that always tells an interesting story. You've got level 15 on the Alchemist, but the rest of the levels are fairly evenly spread. Just the Alchemist is getting pretty fat. Yep. 12k net worth, Wade. Orchid again, but Brex has just immediately dispelled it. That's why I don't think they should be going two Orchids. Obviously, if, you know, they've already got some counter yeah. for it. I just two is like a bit yields on, uh, By the yields against Tabadon. You know, yields yeah, it's just, it's just a very nice item to have in your team. Just CC someone, take them out of the fight for a little bit. Gives you move speed, gives you mana. Courier snipe. Oh, had his vessel vessel on it. Ah, so Ollie is the one going for spirit vessel. So he went for Veil Vessel, which is an interesting puck build, because it means you don't have Blink Dagger. I feel like Puck should be getting Blink Dagger no matter what. I don't think you should be skipping it. Yeah, I think Vessel should be on Abaddon, really. Well, looks like they're just diving the tower. Gabe, you're going to go down. Big strength cores just chopping you up. But Radiant, they've managed to take the mid tower. Oh, Outpost was just snuck by Miles. That's good, some extra XP for their team. Picking up the bounties as well. You see, bounties are so easy to pick up. Oh, but Mars, he gets found and he's killed. That's, that's big. Antimage got the kill as well, so that's nice. Boots of traveling in. He knows that Antimage can't fight him. He's got absolutely no mana. Oh, Imp Claw on the Antimage. Actually, you know what? If Thom goes MKB after this, then I'm fine with this build. MKB Orchid, what, just full right click? Yep. Look for solo pickoffs. Beat everyone. Could have just gone straight MKB then. I mean, Orchid's a lot of money for not a lot if you don't get the active off, but I guess you can still Orchid two people, and one each. Yeah. Which is like really good to get pickoffs on course. Could have gone a Scythe, but you know, it takes a bit longer to build, but powerful item on a quap because you can just blink in and get the scythe and you're always mm. you're always ready to get it off oh he's gonna complete his vessel now that's good who's we referring to oh what? um t tom okay yeah that's good but they do have a way to dispel it okay, um with abaddon and because orchids in the game they're going to be building a lot of dispel is there any sign of like a lotus orb or something or any sort of dispel items? I don't think there is. Nah, he's going human card on Abaddon. Okay, that is, you know, it's a healing reduction item. It does take quite a long time to build though. It's fairly expensive, has a very expensive component in it as well. It has no arms to defend itself. Monk, oh, not my king. Anti-mage, he's farming pretty dangerously in the enemy jungle. You see Alchemist on 18k network. Yeah, just Alchemist thing, so really. Okay, he blinks out, he's being very careful, which is good. He's a careful player, veteran. He's getting some good levels though. Level 16 now. Only one level behind Royds. Royds, he's popped his stun. He's running in, he does have his ult. He throws the stun, stuns himself. <laughs> he should have accepted that. Well, he's stunned no. for a very long time. He's also got no mana, he can't even ult. No, he's now got the mana. Just, is he gonna ult? I mean, he might as well pop the ult. There's going to be a big team fight here. They have potted shield a creep, which I think was a mistake. Royce has popped BKB. Not got any mana. He's just going in. Veteran. They immediately dispelled the Fiend's Grip. 
But Royd, no one can stop him. He just chops oh up Gabe. God. He's going to chop up Brex. Brex has to ult. You've also got Tim in the back. But Anti-Mage, he's doing a lot of damage. You see how that damage went on, on Miles. Miles also got a BKB. He's just being chopped up by Anti-Mage. He has a big one, though. Meanwhile, in the back, though, you've got Tim. He's chopping people up. Nice Queen of Pain ult. Oh, Did that actually get the kill? Yeah, oh, the Duke. Didn't see that one, but Miles, I'm watching him try to juke Anti-Mage. Anti-Mage has blink in a second. Here comes the TP out, and he's oh. gone. No. So that was a very long fight. Lots of BKBs popped. Not actually that many kills. Um, I'm assuming no other fights happening now. Let's see if we can go to an instant replay. Thank you, dogs. So look, you see the fight here. Alchemist just runs in with BKB. Oh wow, my instant replay is like off centered a bit. Oh, the video size changed. I need to. There we go. Fixed it. <laughs> the anti mage tried so long to kill Miles. Veteran just couldn't find the kill. So, he wasted a lot of time, I guess, in that fight. I realize I'm recording at a slightly different resolution, so I have to change the video size quickly. <laughs> there you go. So, that was a very long fight. But that's, you know, the longest BKB durations down. Nature's Prophet, Alchemist. Is Tim going for a BKB? Doesn't look like it. Okay, we've got another attempt at killing Miles. Veteran, you need to get out of here. Okay, they Orchid an Illusion, so he's going to be fine. But they get Vision. Oh. They've got a second Orchid, remember? No, both of them are on cooldown. Okay, oh, blink Tom. straight into him. Tom found him, but he's got the ult. Mana Void. He's got no mana, though. Even if he changes to Intreds, he's got no mana. Ten mana. He's got it now. Okay, he decides to go for Counterspell instead, which I think he needed. And huge crit from Tim to seal the deal. So, yes, he does get Tom, but he goes down. I think that's definitely worth it for the die. Being yeah, able definitely. to pick off Anti-Mage. Um, Anti-Mage was on a killing spree, I think. How much gold was that? 500 gold gone in the way of Tim. Anti-Mage dead for over a minute. Tim is going to have a death or two on Yeah, he's scary. It's falling in the carrier right now. I mean, Anti-Mage's net worth is ahead of Nature's Prophet. It's ahead of Wraith King. But I don't think he's going to be catching up to Alchemist anytime soon. Alchemist with the Assault Curass, he's you know on his way to Abyssal Blade. Got the Basher part of it already. But there's nobody close by, per usual. Usually. He's yeah, he's in the world of his own. Yeah, once uh, Alk has Abyssal Blade, I think Anti Mage's game is just over. Yep, he'll kill Anti Mage within the Abyssal. Absolutely, hundred percent chance. Maybe anti mage has, you know, maybe veteran's got good reactions, and he can counter spell it. Get the stun on the out. He's going for a basher of his own, the anti mage, and you know he's a fast farmer. He'll get it fairly quickly. I think this is not over. Maybe I'm too optimistic in saying that because the net worth difference is so large. But the problem is, all of Dyer's net worth is kind of concentrated in the alchemist at the moment. So if they can bring him out yeah. of the fight or somehow pick him off, then suddenly half their team's dead. Only one core on the radiant. Yes, they've put pretty much, as we said at the beginning, all their eggs in one basket, and that is anti-mage. But he's a strong hero. You saw, he, you know, even in these fights, which seem one-sided, he's been able to find a few kills of his own. Fully miles out the fight, even though he's a fairly fed profit. And we know oh, how good anti-mage is late game. Abyssal's up already. 26 minutes. 26 minutes, and he's already four slotted. But with the travels, I mean, he's really only got space for one more item already. What's it going to be to finish off his build? Scardi, Heart, Daedalus, um, MKB. MKB, yeah MKB. You can always eat a Moonshard as well. Then he's going to start giving it's Axe to his team. Too. True, travels too. Quite a lot of gold for a small upgrade, but I guess when you're Alchemist, you've got a ton of gold. Yeah, and all of, his, all of his team has nice Ags too. A lot of good Ags on his team, yeah. I'm not yep. that keen on Bane's Ags when you're playing Bane as a support. Because it's oh, just right. it's low cooldown brain sap. Pretty nice if you can spam it. Travels 2 is a good item, but it is 2,000 gold, so most people don't buy it in the early game. Orb of Destruction with a Radiant. Anti Mage has just hit level 20. They know they're in Roche, but they're taking it very quickly. Desolator on Tim doing huge work. Deal. Are they actually going to try for this? I think they are, but it's too late. No, he blinks in and steals oh, it. <laughs> Immediately it. goes down though, but at least they've taken the rose. However, Ollie just gets silenced and killed instantly. 
Yes, Anti-Mage is up, but what's he going to do? He just has to run. Tim, he's about to take down Drekken. Meanwhile, Royce, he's popped BKB. He's found Gabe. So, yes, they did deny the Aegis with great timing, but they lost their entire team in the process, so... Yeah, and they lost Aegis, too. How are you watching this while shopping? That's pretty impressive. Oh, they're going to destroy the Jiffy Tower with the Deso. You've got Deso, you've got Skeletons, and you've got the, the Treants. Or right Clicker. Look at that Ross icon on the floor. I know. <laughs> it's beautiful. Rex had to use his ult. Anti-Mage is going to find a Courier. Oh no, that's... Yeah, okay, good. He knows he has a TP back. He can't cancel it for the Courier. We've still got a lot of time on Chemical Rage. He just goes in with the Abyssal Blade. Follows out with his ult, but Puck does manage to get the face shift off. Veteran, meanwhile, is trying to take out the Cosmic Chops. He doesn't quite find him. Yes, he has now got him. Ollie has to buy back straight away. Tom's blinked out. Tim is low. Tim's not got any mana. Oh, he does. No, that last hit was enough to stop him. Last hit. Okay, we're going to have to blink back on Veteran. We've now got the BKB up from Royce. We've got no Chemical Rage. He's not really that scary. Just hit him. Another Orchid. They need to be chasing this. Okay, that's going to be a TP out. Does he have Basher? He does have Basher. Okay, he does, does finally stun him. They're chasing. There's Royce. We've got the stun. No. Tom's going to blink out. Okay, they, they kept their racks alive. They did lose the tower. Yeah. Also, yeah. they found some kills. Ollie had to buy back, however. So, that's always unfortunate. Tom is going Shiva's guard. Tom is going Shiva's. Yeah, Shiva's is a good crop item. Kind of good against anti mage. He decided not to finish his spirit vessel because he looked like he was building that at some point. I think that's good, though. It's not really that great against Abaddon. Taking 45 attack speed away from an AM definitely helps. So, yeah, I can see it being a good item. I mean, that's quite a lot of gold for a co-op. He was, what, Pos 4? Pos 4 in his lane? He's got more net worth than Ollie in his mid. Yeah. Tom is my god. I look at Roy. Not him. Hiding in the trees. He's hit level 24. Everyone's a little bit split at the moment. I wonder if the Radiant should be looking for some pickoffs. Oh, it looks like as soon as I say that, they managed to find Tom. 465 gold to anti mage. He's nearly got a Abyssal Blade. He's actually got enough gold for it. He just can't have buyback as well. They need to TP out. They realize they're surrounded. Roy is just running in by himself. Goodbye, Gabe. You are at level 11. There's a level 24 Alchemist running at you. What do you do? You die. That's what you do. Uh, there's a MKB on Profit. He's gonna not work it. So MKB on Profit. He's gonna hit hard. He's not gonna be able to kill Anti Mage though. Yeah, you can try and summon some trees, but it's a bit late. What is with the icon for that ultimate? It's very odd. Well, Wrath of Nature on uh, Nature's Profit. Uh, probably is I. They're one of the cosmetic items. It's just such a weird icon. icon. It looks like yeah, a blue crystal. Alright, like, what's that got to do with Wrath of Nature? Oh, it's not actually. I don't know. It's just a weird, it's just a weird looking icon. Yeah, you can see that for a lot of air. Wait, uh, Nature's Prophet just dropped a Mindbreaker from his alt, but where? Did he? Uh, I love, love playing that game. Yeah, he did. It's fine in the stash, so it's dropped somewhere. Okay. Alchemist is nearly level 25. What's it going to get? 40 chemical health regen or 50 move speed? Mm. Never saw which one's better. An anti has been farming hard, he's been getting a lot of kills. He's nearly level 25 as well. What is anti going to take? Mana oh, Void cooldown, I think. Game. Good. Let's hope we see some good fights. Well, the Dire are completely spread. They smoked, and then they're kind of just hiding in their own jungle. Right, they're moving out now. There's a Wraith King here. He's level 19, so he's still not got the mana reincarnate. They is found him. Away? He blinks away. Oh, it's broken. But Ollie, he's still in smoke. He's a little bit further ahead. Royds, he's popped. He's got the movement speed, but he's got haste anyway. Oh, no, Rich. Abyssal Blade. Ollie, he's in trouble. Nope, he's fine. Kept side by a Photic Shield. I think Gabe's going to go down. Anti Mage, he's getting just beaten down. Dies almost instantly. Great Sonic Wave going in. Hits pretty much everyone. Ollie's low. Being kept side by the Photic Shield. Drekken, he's stolen the Wraith King stun, but it's a bit too late. Rex pops his ult, but he's going to go down as well. Yeah, nice. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, but grip after the 
after the uh, after the borrowed time. That's going to be a kill. Nature's probably TP's ahead. And I think that's GG. Antimus does have buyback, but not much he can do. Their team pushed so hard. I mean, the Dyer's draft was just, was just much better. What can I say? It was, you know, they went greedy. They got away with it because the Radiant draft was so passive. They picked lots of big strength boys. No one could stop the Alchemist. My dogs agree with you. <laughs> Good. Thank, thank you, dogs. At least, at least someone does. It's like, the rest is greedy, but it's like, the lanes are so strong, too. Yeah, it was a well-balanced draft. Greedy, but also with pretty good early game. Managed to get away with it. Well, he got with buyback. Ah, oh, it's just talking about the one at least. G G. Aggressive G from Miles. Uh, Miles, yeah. Aggressive G G. <laughs> He's probably chuffed. Oh, 40k net virtually. That's 30 minutes. That's painful. Good game, though. Good game. Unfortunately, Ross's Very drafting was not victorious. It's beaten by the rarely seen Miles draft. Miles, God, with the Prophet, honestly. Yeah, we we even though I've never seen Miles play Prophet, it kind of wasn't a surprise that he's quite good at him. Yeah, I'm not surprised either. Tim God too, outforming the anti mage. Very cool. Tim and Tom. You cannot beat him. Yeah, look at that gold at the end. Was that someone got given an Agnum? <laughs> <laughs> Tim, you can I think. see as Tim just goes up like immediately 4k net worth. Or more, actually. Well, I think Tim picked up that uh, Paladin Sword as well. It was a good game. And as always, you can see, you know, 15 minutes. The game was very static. Anti-Mage was farming quite well. It wasn't clear which side were, you know, easily going to win the game. But unfortunately, the Dire Draft just came online much earlier. You know, Alchemist was picking up huge items uncontested. Anti-Mage was trying his best to farm, but he was the only core against a Wraith King and an Alchemist, and he had to deal with the Nature's Prophet. There was no way he could take them all on. And Puck is too much of a utility sort of mid-hero. Can't really out-carry a Prophet or 1v1 a Prophet. So, uh, yeah, I think it, it was a drafting error. Basically. Not greedy enough on the Radiant. Yeah, just one core is, like, not good. This is the second time in a row they've tried to counter Cosmic's Bane and failed. Bane is just too good. Uncounterable? Yeah. No, Oli <laughs> didn't go yours at all. Even though he knew there was an Orchid on the enemy team, he opted for the Veil, which I think is not really doing much in this, this game. Yeah, if I was Oli, nah, I, think I would have gone auto-attack Puck, like, picked up the Deso, just tried to kind of act like a core. Maybe. Yeah, Veil is just like super good this patch. The, like, in the item patch, they fix that, and Veil is so good. Well, 18% spell amp. I guess your team do a bit of magic damage, but if you look at the damage dealt, like, compared to what Roids is doing, Nature's Prophet's doing with his autos, it's nowhere 